Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today I want to get into another clip from their last town hall two weeks ago, talking from Matt, speaking on new player experience, improving it, easier access to onboarding new players with a specific focus on soulbound rewards. We've had soulbound rewards have been a bit of a tense conversation. Some people love the cards, some people hate them. We get sick of them regardless whether we love them originally. We want fresh ones. Well, we know now that new ones are coming. 42 or 43 of them will be released all at once. And we know some other things that are going to be that I want to talk about in this video. But it's within the perspective, again, around that continuing conversation of how are we going to secure new players? One of the things Matt seems to think is we need to open the door for access. We need to prevent them from needing sort of running into hurdles as they come to our game. If they have to sign up for a spell book, for instance, $10 right out the gate to even test the game, to try the game. That's pretty much a no for a lot of people. And so that's one of the barriers he points to geared in the from or perceived from the perspective of how do we incentivize and encourage new players to come and soulbound rewards are tied to that. Let's, let's hear what he has to say. We need to make sure it's not just a smooth experience, but it's like a good experience. And I, we're, we're talking about ways to, to not like just stick the spell book purchasing in front of them before they can really do anything. So we've been, um, you know, we've been brainstorming and there's a lot of ideas. Um, and I think part of the new player experience that we're gonna have is that you're gonna be able to participate in most parts of the game without having to purchase a spell book. Um, and it's- So this is important because it's absolutely been a hurdle. And he talked previously about how we have like a hundred signups a day, but then that's people signing up and then not buying a spell book maybe two or one a day are buying a spell book. And so a hundred people a day equals 3000 people a month, 3000 people a month would maybe be a 50% increase in our total population. That's a big deal. And so, and so there, there are obviously too many barriers or significant, whether it's too many or there are too significant uh, that are preventing them from going that next level. So he wants to talk about how soul bomb rewards are going to be part of re, sort of reorganizing the approach to sign ons. So no, you don't need, you can play the game without spellbook. And why will you want a spellbook? Because you're going to like the game and you'll earn rewards while playing, but they're all soul bound. That's the key. Let's listen to what he says. It's just, it'll just be a case where you, you'll only be able to earn soul bound things. So now that we have soul bound reward cards and stuff, we're able to let people potentially earn glint and maybe have a subset of the options available in the glint shop where they can get soul bound reward cards. So it, it'd be just like a, a tr traditional free to play game. You come in, you sign up, you can, you can play, you can earn these rewards that aren't tradable. Um, you can build up your deck and you can do better. Um, and then over this period, we'll hopefully be able to explain to them and get them to understand why they want to buy a spell book, why they want to start um, getting assets that they they can sell. There's also no reason why, you know, if some people want to come in and purchase packs uh, and cards and all that stuff, why they technically shouldn't be able to do that um, without buying a spell book. Now they wouldn't be able to, they wouldn't actually have like a, a wallet and so they wouldn't be able to sell those cards or take anything out of the game but it, like, if people want to start with the traditional free-to-play game experience, um, with with you know purchase options, they should be able to do all that. And then instead of just saying, "Hey, before you can even really do anything in Splinterlands, pay ten dollars," it's more like have them play, have them see card rentals and card sales and and SPS and and all these things, um, and just say like, you know, "Hey, if if you buy this summoner spell book, now you all of a sudden get access to these things." Uh, so I completely agree, and I think many of you will as well. He's he's not saying we don't need spell books. He's not saying the spell books you bought or I bought are useless. He's saying, why are we giving that extra step to any potential curious new player? They, they don't really know what our game is about. They don't really know what it's like. They want to give it a try. And we're saying, no, you give us 10 bucks or you <laughs> hit the road. And I know 10 bucks is not that much to probably the first world viewers out there, but a ton of the world lives on $10 a day. Like $10 is a huge amount of money to some people. And it's just simply going to, it closes doors. It doesn't open them. It is a hurdle and in, 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 prevents involvement. It doesn't open sort of the opportunity for involvement. 
and Soulbound Rewards, so long as they're going to continue, which it sounds like Matt is keen for to have them continue, Soulbound Cards, so, you know, Glint as a reward, whatever else, can be handed out as, as if you're, you know, an investor within the game, and then you would just have certain limitations on how you could spend that. Like, if you're getting Glint, it can be spent on certain chests, not other chests. And uh, like they probably not the ultimate chests that can un can give you like a beta pack or an alpha pack, but but just the 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 packs that can allow you to draw the more recent soulbound cards. And so, to me, that seems consistent. It seems logical. It seems appropriate. And I think that's absolutely an important next step for doubling down on the announced concern around addressing new player signups and retention around those who do sign up actually getting them invested actually getting them to to bite to try and to fall in love and um, i think if you imagine if three thousand people are, are signing up to play this every month and then you know a fraction of them are actually sticking around like i mean he made it he didn't give numbers but it made it sound like almost none he said very few were even playing one game and so it's like they're signing up logging in running into some barrier probably the ten dollar spell book is part of that oh i can't earn without it um, no thanks whatever the case may be but let's remove those barriers and this is one more piece that i wanted to feature because i think it's really important that we imagine new ways to address a broader audience and i think that's what i hear matt talking about in this and uh, and so i'm super glad to hear that thanks guys so much for, for your time and attention a little bit of a shorter video today um have an amazing day god bless um so that's that's like part of this whole